Hi everyone, it's Marilyn and Pippa. Today I'm going to talk about grooming. This is going to be step by step my grooming routine. If you're a beginner, this will be great for you. This is a step by step grooming 101, so let's get into it. The first thing you're going to need is a secure place to put your horse while you're grooming them. You have various options in barns, so depending on what your barn setup is, you are going to have one of these places to secure your horse. A lot of barns have cross ties in the barn aisle, so if you have this connected in your barn, set up in your barn, you can put your horse, you can connect your horse to these cross ties in the barn aisle, and this gives you obviously a lot of space, and it's a safe and secure place to start your grooming. In my barn, we have a wash rack and cross ties in the wash, wash rack. So this is also a place that you can connect your horse to safely groom them. It's similar to the ones on the barn aisle. It's exactly the same. And sometimes it's a safer, especially with a newer, younger horse because you have the back behind. Um, and that gives the horse a sense of security. It's not wide open. So it depends on your horse. If you don't have those ties in your barn, if you have your horse's stall, you can also groom them in their stall. They're gonna be very comfortable in their stall. You can put the halter on and the lead rope and you can work with them. The only problem is, is that they probably will move around. So one thing you might do is loop the lead rope. You don't have to tie it, but they might just feeling that that it's connected to something in a way will help keep them still. So this kind of depends on your horse and if they're used to you grooming them or not. But this is an option. You can also do a quick release knot and make it a safe connection in the stall. And lastly, if you don't have any of these options, you can ask a friend or a colleague to hold your horse and just be next in the front of them holding their lead rope while you do your grooming. So step one is securing your horse. Step two is assemble your tools. Get everything in one place, this is a nice bag. And just so you know, I'm gonna link all of these products below in the description, the bag, where to get them. So if you're looking for any of these tools for grooming, you'll be able to find them easily. Purring your horse, that's really the first grooming step. You wanna bring the loose hair and the dirt up to the surface. You're gonna start at the top of the horse by the ears, work all the way down, all the way to the back of the horse on both sides. Up, you're not going to curry the mane. So when you start curring, you're going to do a circular motion. And be very diligent. Make sure you're getting all of the sections of the horse where there's hair. Under the neck is a little sensitive, so you probably just want to curry more gently right here. But this is the motion that you're going to use because of hair, you'll notice one's in one direction. And when you're doing the circular motion, you're pulling it back and you're bringing the dirt to the surface. And you're going to do that all the way along the entire horse on both sides. Now, on the bony lower leg, I would not curry. I also would not curry on the face. It's very sensitive around the nose the eyes, so there's other steps we'll do for those areas. This is the curry comb I'm using on her body, and as I said, you may not want to do the lower legs because they're more sensitive than other parts of the body where there's more muscle and meat. The other tool I use is Betty's Gentle Groomer. This is a really good product. It has nubs, it has edges, it's rubber, it's flexible. It's really good and comfortable for the horse. And I use this a lot to scrape mud off. So I'm kind of curling the legs in a straight up and down motion. And you can use something like this as well. After you get all of the dirt and hair, loose dirt and hair to the surface and you're curling, you want to use a stiff bristle brush to remove it from the horse, to brush it off of the horse. And again, just be very methodical. Start right up here on the neck behind the ears and work down the entire body of the horse, over the back, over the top. Go in the direction that the hair is growing because you've already brought all the dirt and debris up to the top. 
apply a little bit of hot sugar to this. And again, you'll do your whole horse, both sides. With the stiff bristle brush, you want to be aware that some areas of your horse are more sensitive. And you always want to make sure that you can touch your horse everywhere. It's really important that when you have a new horse to you, that you make sure that they're acclimated and they will let you touch them anywhere you need to touch them. This is so important. And part of what you're doing when you're grooming is learning all of this about your horse and getting them used to you. With the stiff bristle brush, I'll brush her upper legs. And if I do brush down below, I just do it really gently. Then the next step is to use a soft bristle brush as a shining and buffing and finishing for your horse's coat. And again, I start up at the top and just brush down. This brush, is, I can easily use it on my legs. On the chest, it's very soft. For your horse's face, <laughs> you may want to get a soft cloth or a washed cloth, wet it and make it damp. And don't let your horse eat it. And you can use that to gently clean debris and dirt off their face. The next step, uh, it would be the mane and the tail. This soft brush, can, you can actually use this to brush some dirt off of your horse's mane and brush uh, your, your tail as well. If you find that there are knots and tangles in the tail and the mane, you may want to apply a detangler and shine. This is one, this is Cowboy Magic. There are several different ones. I use this one. I use Equifuse's product. Uh, there's a couple other products I use. I'll link them below. But you can put this, uh, just a little bit of it throughout the tail, and that will help you get the tangles out without damaging. When you're grooming your horse's tail, I use the Ostracone. You want to hold it just this is as if you were brushing your own hair and start at the bottom and do little sections and depending on the thickness of your horse's tail and work your way up okay, so i'm just applying a really small amount this is a very thick a um, little bit oily but it's really good to get tails out so i will apply this to her mane to make sure that I don't do any damage to it. I actually use my fingers to uh, make sure that I remove any knots or tangles. After I've gotten all the knots out, then I can take my comb and again, in little sections, working through the bottom up to the top. For a forelock, I'll put a little detangler on it and I'll just gently comb it. I already felt through it to make sure it didn't have any tangles or knots in it. When you're grooming your horse and working around them, you always want to be cautious. My horse is used to me. She knows me. I've had her for a number of years. We've been working together. I'm riding and training her, so she's very comfortable with me. But it's, I'm still aware. I'm always aware of where I am, where her legs are, what her demeanor is. Always keep your hand on your horse when you're grooming them especially when you go to walk around them from the back. You always want to be aware of that, uh, with their legs, of the possibility of kicking. And when you're crossing around them closely, if you have your hand on them, it's actually safer than if you just are walking back there and not doing anything and they don't really know where you are. Uh -huh. So those are the main steps, basic steps for grooming your horse. The last thing you might want to do is pick their hooves out. I'm going to do a video on that so I can go into more detail on how you do that process. And if it's summer and you're sending them back out in the pasture, you probably want to finish up with a spray of fly spray to keep the flies away. And um, in the winter, you don't have to worry about that. At the very end, she's already looking for her treat because she's been a good girl. So you might want to give your horse a little treat, cookie, piece of candy because <laughs> if they've been very good while you're grooming them you want to let them know that Thanks so much for spending a pouring rain day learning about grooming a horse with me and Pippa, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.